What the hell is going on, Americans? Jericho Green here with you once again, and I have a few questions. Why do I still have electricity in my home and running water? Why are there not riots in the streets? Why are people not jumping out of high rises like 1929? Why is my world not post-apocalyptic? Why does my world not look like Mad Max beyond the Thunderdome? Why are there not Klansmen running up and down the streets freely snatching up colored folk? Why has our economy not collapsed? Why are we not engaged in nuclear war? I'm asking these questions because last night, like I do sometimes, I was watching some of those compilation videos of the morning after the 2016 election. You know how they're all, uh, 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 can you believe the world is waking up? It's a different world. Donald Trump is president. And they're all telling me that the word, the world I just described is what we're supposed to be living in right now. So where is my post-apocalyptic Donald Trump existence? Where is it? They were telling me that we were supposed to be engaged in nuclear war with North Korea because he called him Rocket Man and shit. They were telling us that the economy was supposed to collapse when he said that he would have <clears throat> he would have our GDP at a certain level. Obama said there's no magic wand. They're telling me about all these dog whistles he keeps blowing with all these terms and phrases. How he's emboldening the racists and the turds of our society. Where is that? We're three and a half years in. We should be knee deep in fucked upness, right? That's what the media was telling me. That's what the mainstream mediocres were telling me. That's what these empty suit politi politicians were telling me. They're telling me, man, as soon as Donald Trump swears in, this country will fall apart. What happened? Were they wrong or were they lying to us? Because I don't see any of that. When I walk into my home, the lights still work, my car still turns on, I still have a job, nobody's fucking with me because I'm colored. Because I'm a person of color. I keep looking out my front window, Malcolm X style, waiting for him to come get me. Waiting for that 70-some Chevy Dually to come screaming down my street. yee Get him, boys! There he is! Trump said! Where the fuck is that? Our economy isn't on Venezuela's level. I'm not trying to snare pigeons in the park. I'm not trying to get my hands on a zoo animal in a cage. We're not eating gray meat. The shelves in the store aren't bare. I'm still able to get food and supplies for my children. What happened? We had that one sick, disgusting bitch. I don't know what show she was on, but she said, ladies, get your abortions now. Because when Trump takes over, we're fucked. If you know who that disgusting whore is, please leave her name in the comment section. I'd like to look and see if I can find some more, some post comments after that. After we've lived under Trump's reign. Let's see if she changed her tune. Celebrities. All you hacks. All you rotten piece of, pieces of perverted shit. Why haven't you moved to Canada? George Lopez. Whoopi Goldberg. Why are you still here? Why aren't you in Canada? You said if he wins, you're leaving. Is it because you're a fucking liar? Or is it because Canada doesn't just let anybody move into their fucking country? Where is it? I want to know. 
I'm driving to my job right now, which I should have lost when the economy collapsed. So what happened? You had a lot of people up there in expensive suits and bow ties telling us what the polls say, telling us what's going to happen, telling us what Trump can't do, telling us what kind of situation we're going to be in. So where the fuck is the situation? You saw that one soft-headed mouth breather? No! When Trump got elected? So what was she screaming about? He's a fascist. Well, fascists stop free speech. Fascists don't let you say what you want to say. Fascists come get you if you speak against them. The only people I see censoring speech are those dummies over there. Are those corporations that are on their side that dumped all that money in the Killary's campaign that was supporting her. They're the fascists. The fascists we all know about. Hitler, right? Tr Trump's Hitler, and if you supported him, you're a Nazi. Well, where do you think the Nazis modeled their politics after? That's right. Democrats in America during Jim Crow during the 1920s. That's what he modeled his fucking Nazism after. Was you motherfuckers. That's right, do some research, people. You think Hitler just snatched his ideas out of thin air? He made them up? Fuck no, he wasn't that smart. He got it from the Democrats. The way they treated black folks and other colored people in America. What the fuck happened? I'm waiting. If I could, I would insert the cricket sounds right here. You know why we don't live in that world? You know why we don't live in this post-apocalyptic dystopia? Is because they're fucking lying. That's why. They were scared. Trump is a threat to their existence. And they just knew they would have bet their firstborn. They just knew that Hillary was going to win. Nope, she didn't put in the work. She was lazy. She didn't hit the rust belt. She didn't hit the middle of the country. She had no fucking message. It was just feelings, feelings, feelings. What did MC Hammer say in that Pepsi commercial in the early 90s when they were promoting the Adams Family movie? Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. That's all they have. That's all they had in 2016. That's all they have now. That's all they're going to have in 2020. I've heard people say, well, Biden's leading. Who gives a shit? Leading what? So what? He's number one in that clown car of buffoons? There's like 27 of them. It's like me going into a first grade class and saying I got the highest score on a math test. Like, so what? I hope Biden is, I hope Biden is the one left standing from the Democrats. I hope so. His past and present is so fucked up. Trump is going to devour that fool. Oh, my goodness. But please, when you have time, Go back and look at some of those those compilations of the, the morning after. The day after Trump was elected. <laughs> this shit is hilarious. But see the way these fucking idiots act to see what we're what we're supposed to be dealing with right now has not come to pass. <laughs> get out of here. You ladies, get your bushings now, because we're gonna be fucked. Shut up, disgusting whore. Anyway, let me get in this rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe, hit that notification bell, utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green, and I'm out.